The problem that we're facing in South Africa is that youth unemployment is currently around 44%, which is almost twice that of adult unemployment. The government's introduced this incentive to try to encourage companies to hire young people who face a very high rate of unemployment, and I'm using this data to see if it's had that effect, if it has encouraged more firms to hire young workers. Another concern about the tax incentive is that it might encourage companies to fire older workers and hire younger workers instead to take advantage of the subsidy. So I also look at whether there's been a change in separations of older workers as a result of the incentive. So my finding is that overall, when we look at all firms that have taken up the incentive, we don't see an increase in the number of young workers relative to other firms that did not use the incentive. That's only half the story, however. When you look at firms by size, we do see that smaller firms seem to increase the number of young workers in their workforce relative to other firms. The problem, however, is that they employ a relatively small number of workers relative to the larger firms where we don't see an effect. And so while that might be positive, the overall effect is, is sort of drowned out by the fact that most, most of the larger firms are in creating new jobs. So the point of this analysis is to compare the, um, the rate at which firms that use the incentive hire young people after the policy was introduced compared to beforehand. And the firms that use the incentive were already employing young people at quite a high rate and at greater rates than other firms. So when we look after the policy, we can't see any additional effect of the policy on those patterns. They're continuing to hire young people, but we're not seeing any, any bump that's due to the incentive. And in that regard, overall, we can't say that the policy has increased the number of young people that have been hired after its introduction. But the one thing I should point out is that in this time period under study from 2013 to 2015, employment of people aged 18 to 29 has gone down overall. And so it's been maintained in these firms, but we can't say that that's due to the fact that the policy was introduced. At this very preliminary stage, it seems like it hasn't had an effect, but there's a lot of work to be done to understand how it's been taken up and why certain firms have taken up and others have not. So if we can better understand what's happening in smaller firms, perhaps we can see scope for expansion. But overall, it looks like most of it is dead weight loss. And we might want to think about the policy priorities of where we're putting money to create jobs. And the end goal of all of this is to improve policy so that we can try to you know, improve outcomes in our economy, such as helping young people get a job. Thank you.